Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you joined me again. I want to talk to you a little bit about New Year. You know, when we face a new year every year, it's an opportunity for us to look back over our past year and kind of celebrate the successes we've had and also to uh, con consider some of the challenges that we have experienced. Some of us right now could say we're still in the middle of a challenge. We, we haven't completely overcome everything that's facing us, but I want you to know that God is a God that not only loves us, but he has the power to change things that you and I can't change. In one place in the Bible, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 11, verse 19, it says, I will give them one heart and put a new spirit within them. And I was thinking in the United States of America, we need to have one heart. We are very divided in our country. And if you would, I'm going to ask you to join me in prayer and in uh, positive actions that we can take to encourage our fellow citizens to consider that we really need to be united. You know, united we stand, divided we fall. And by our failure to work together for those things that we can agree on, we're uh, tearing apart our own country. And the second thing is, on a personal level, the only way that people's lives ever really are ch transformed is to be changed from the inside out. There is no government program that will change people's behavior or their attitudes or their willingness to cooperate with one another. It all starts with you and me and our neighbors and our friends and our family. It starts inside each of us from our heart. It says in this passage, I'll give them one heart and I'll put a new spirit within them. You know, if God's spirit is in your heart, the only way he gets into your heart is by faith in his son, Jesus Christ. And it is through faith in Jesus Christ that we receive the indwelling presence of God's Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God is able to take your life, my life, and the lives of anyone who will trust in him and transform our life from the inside out. He is able to transform our nation one by one by one, thousands and even millions, to be transformed if we would just surrender the control of our life to him and stop thinking of ourselves first. So I'm going to encourage you this new year of 2014 to be in prayer for our nation and for its leaders and to look within yourself and just say, am I part of the solution or do I need to get my attitude adjusted as well? I just want to encourage you just to have a great year in this new year of 2014 and I hope you drop by sometime and say hi. God bless you.